So guys, over the last few months, you know, I've been reporting on incidents that have been occurring in Huddersfield. And most recently, police have raided four homes across Dalton and arrested three men after a gang of men carrying samurai swords terrified residents in the Huddersfield streets on Monday. Officers were pictured outside a home in North Car yesterday. The house is one of four addresses police have stormed over the past 24 hours in connection with the violent disorder on Sandy Fourth Lane on Monday night. It comes after a group of men were seen carrying samurai swords and a blank shot was fired in and around the Sandy Fourth Lane in Dalton. And as I said, three men have been arrested on suspicion of a number of crimes, including violent disorder, as extensive inquiries continue. So a local had said that an area of Standy Forth Place has been a magnet for drug dealing for quite some time. She said in the past the police have been here with the people drug dealing on the spare bit of land. Another resident had said that some of the youths had their hoods up while others had not even covered their faces. She said, I have not seen them around here before. And a man who also lives nearby said the use of weapons in Huddersfield was getting out of hand. He said, as far as I'm hearing, it's gangs attacking each other. So for those of you that don't know about Huddersfield, Huddersfield, it's a market town in West Yorkshire. And back in the day, it was a prominent location for mills during the Industrial Revolution. It's also the birthplace of people such as Sir William Broadbent, who was the neurologist and physician to Queen Victoria and King Edward VII. And born in and around that area were people such as Sir Patrick Stewart, known for Star Trek. Harold Wilson, who was twice the Prime Minister. However, gone are those days. Now, violence has become endemic in Huddersfield as gangs go to war over territory. A few months ago, outside Dayton Working Men's Club, the smoking area near tables and benches where customers were sitting, a man was writhing in agony and blood gushing from his arm and in front of him, still twitching on the floor, was his severed hand. There were two boys in balaclavas and they had just chopped it off clean with a machete in full view of everyone before fleeing down a path alongside the venue where they removed their masks. They were laughing, according to a witness who was there who saw them from her front door as they escaped and she said the age, they were about 17 or 18. And this kind of violence seems to be happening every day, so much so that the locals have become desensitised to it. As I said, a number of people every single week, I get like three or four different stories coming from Uddersfield, a shooting, a stabbing. In the immediate aftermath of the attack at the working men's club, a number of people inside the club went to help the victim who was a 30-year-old. A girl said, I went to give him first aid. I was walking through the club and I saw everything. Me and a couple of others thought the best thing to do was pick up his hand and put it in a bucket. Doctors tried to reattach the man's hand after he was taken to hospital, but it's not known if the operation was successful. The girl said, it's just the way it is around here. Back in February, a 19-year-old had his hand almost sliced off in a machete attack close to that working men's club where a car nearby was also firebombed. A few months before that, a 26-year-old man standing outside that working men's club was ambushed by a mob armed with baseball bats which ended with him being slashed with his own machete as he desperately tried to defend himself. And this working men's club is now known as the Butcher's Arms by some residents in the immediate vicinity. After another machete attack, and a 12-year-old boy was left with 25 pellets lodged in his head after being blasted with a shotgun. And the ongoing violence has disproportionately had a greater impact on communities in Huddersfield because, as a person explained, everyone knows each other. Men. Some of those who now found themselves on opposite sides of the turf were once friends. And most recently, again, centre, broad daylight, you've got a man, mask on, there's a church in the background, and he's got a knife in his hand. And he's stabbing a man, broad daylight, middle of the road. West Yorkshire, the area that Huddersfield's in, has the highest crime rate, 113 crimes per 1,000 people. It's the highest crime rate of any county across England, Wales and Northern Ireland last year. And in Huddersfield, 18,652 crimes have been committed this year. Among these were 8,388 crimes of violence and sexual offences 562 drug offences and 181 for possession of weapons. So on the back of this, I saw an article and it's about a Huddersfield musician who goes by the name of Bootaby and 
he was being urged to use his voice to help reduce gang violence in the town. So I had to look into this up and I believe most of his videos are shot in the far town area. So if you listen to Booty B's lyrics, he talks about gang violence, he talks about stabbings, he talks about shootings and references tensions between gangs in Uddersfield. But his videos also contain disclaimers to say the characters are fictional and the artist himself, Booty B, does not condone any violence. Politicians have basically gone in on him and they've said that Booty B appears to glamorise violence. There was a Huddersfield MP, MP Barry Shearman, who said this week, my constituents are most concerned about violent crime, drugs and gangs. Anything that glorifies any of the things I deplore. I don't think they should be given any time on our social media platforms. Other local councillors have also expressed their woes with regards to this. Another Labour councillor, James Holmwood, who said, Booty B should use his voice to help end gang violence. He said, I hadn't heard of this person before or seen any of their content until yesterday. It's very concerning and does seem to encourage violence. I don't think the disclaimer on the video does anything to diminish the impact it could have. I understand that people will write music and lyrics that represents their life experiences, but the content I've seen here doesn't reflect the trauma and pain caused by the type of violent acts being alluded to. I'd hope rather than create and promote this type of music, those involved would come together within the community and work together to end gang violence we have seen. So a spokesperson for Buta B was approached and this spokesperson said his music is strictly for entertainment purposes and it does not correlate to other people's actions. What he speaks about in his music is not for pinpointing or to be used as injustice towards people. It is strictly for his fans and himself to listen to and enjoy the different genre of music. He said he does not feel comfortable talking to the media and does not want his intentions to come across the wrong way and does not want any involvement in the media. So as I said, they have to be refused to speak to the media but he did speak to your boy GT. So in this article, I saw that the West Yorkshire's Deputy Mayor for Policing and Crime said, our young people are undoubtedly influenced by the things they see across popular culture, whether that be music, television or social media. They went on to say, education is key and our violence reduction unit has been working closely with safety in music in Huddersfield, who are doing a fantastic job in engaging young people to create counter narratives. By changing cultures and confronting negative behaviours, we can guide those who are most vulnerable on the right path. But here clearly the Deputy Mayor for Police and Crime is saying that we're doing a fantastic job educating and engaging young people. But boo to B's experience is the police are harassing him on a daily basis, hence that comes out in his music. Questions regarding why are your lyrics so violent, why are you talking about stabbing and shooting and this, that, the other. When he was growing up, he would witness these things happening first and these are the things that happen in his area. These are the things that he sees on a daily basis. These are the things that he was seeing growing up in a town like Uddersfield. Basically, the way that he expresses himself or the way that he wants to tell his life to people comes through his music and it comes through in the lyrics that he's got out there. On one hand, you've got the politicians who rightly so are stating that his lyrics appear to glamorise violence. When you listen to the lyrics, go and watch his videos and you'll realise about the things. I certainly don't agree with the things that he's rapping about. On the other hand, Buta B is saying that this is the life that he's seen. These are the things that he experiences on a daily basis and this is his life and he chooses to tell this through music. Basically, this is my take on it. They say that education is the key. It's not. This is just a term that is banded around education, this education, that. Let's throw some funding, £200,000 into a community. Let's get some talkers there, motivational speakers. Let's get some youth workers in there. Let's get them to talk to the youth. But they don't actually go into understanding why the youth are acting or why the youth are doing what they're doing. In order to create dialogue, it can't be we're going to do this and one approach fits all. It's not. Sometimes you have to go and you have to invest in a person. You have to get to know what they're about in order to give them the advice that they need. There needs to be investment in the community, and I don't mean money. Invest in people, invest in their lives, understand how they're living, understand their struggles, understand what can help them become better people. And yet, as this article has stated, you know what? If Buta B, for his community, could use his voice to help end gang violence, then so be it. I'm for the time being, Uddersfield is going to remain a lawless place where the locals are terrified around what's happening. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.